through the platform that Silicon India University provides, we have this uh, video course on whether technical certifications are really important for a techie. Uh, we have a host of institutes providing technical certifications. So our technical certification is the criteria on which some candidates score better than the others. Our technicals, can technical skills be measured through certifications and are technical certifications valid enough? So these issues uh, rankle a lot of uh, HR professionals and the techie community at large. So through this uh, video course, experts seek to mitigate the fears of candidates on uh, what is a valid technical certification, what is not, how credible they are, and how do the recruiters in the IT industry view certifications. Uh, this is regarding uh, the importance of certifications, um, especially um, uh, when uh, people are being recruited for a knowledge industry. Uh, certifications are desirable. They might not be essential at all times because uh, the most important thing is definitely experience. But uh, if um, uh, there are multiple people being uh, interviewed for a particular uh, position and if somebody ca is carrying a certification uh, along, he will definitely get a higher weightage. The reason for that is a certification shows that a person is serious about a particular uh, technology or a skill set, he's put in the time and effort to get a certification for that area because it typically would be over and above whatever a person is required to do in his normal course of uh, work. So that is definitely important. Uh, the other thing is that uh, we also uh, need to uh, take care of what are the kind of certifications uh, uh, that are being uh, brought to the play. If it's from a reputed institution, uh, it's perfectly fine. Uh, but if it's from a new institution, typically at uh, Saskan, uh, the way that we... Uh, uh, take care of the new certi uh, certi certifications from a, a new institute would be that for the first time around we would uh, rather uh, go to the institute or uh, take an interview with the students who are currently pursuing that particular certification, have a look at the facilities available, have a look at the infrastructure available there and then take a call whether that certification is uh, good enough for, for us to give a weightage. The drawback with certifications uh, as such is that uh, typically, we may find that uh, a person who is certified in a particular technology will have more of a theoretical uh, exposure rather than a practical exposure. So, uh, on the flip side, if a person has got a uh, hands-on experience and does not carry a certification, he might be uh, better equipped in terms of uh, actual uh, deployment for a particular project. So, we need to keep that into mind and we need to evaluate that. The specific certifications that Saskan uh, looks for as a company are in the areas of telecom, especially VLSI, uh, C++, Embedded, Symbian, operating, uh, other operating systems like Vinci and other mobile technologies. Uh, one more advantage of uh, having a certification for a particular technology is that if you have done it from a reputed course, if you have a hard proper exposure during the time of completing the certification, the training time uh, can be cut down if that's a part of uh, the training module for that particular requirement and you can be deployed much more rapidly and since uh, that is so, uh, the person with the certification will definitely have an advantage over a person not having a certification in a particular thing. The weightage I uh, believe would be somewhere around 10 to 20 percent depending upon the kind of certification. Hi, I'm Ganesh. <coughs> I work for Metric Stream as a development manager. Here I just want to say a few things about certification. <coughs> Basically, what company are looking for. Uh, uh, given company, people tend to work in different technologies like Oracle, Java, and other areas. So what company looks for, what certification gives them is the depth and what company looks for is depth as well as the uh, the breadth. So certification gives the breadth and they want to, <coughs> company will look for the depth also. So that is the advantage of uh, 
doing certifications. Candidates tends to get to the breadth of the subject. So to get the depth, they need to have real practical experience. So, <clears throat> so the combination of this certification plus the depth will help a candidate. So the, but off late now what we are saying, this certification has been there with this mass for a long time. So I mean, there is no proper due diligence on this. So people who are certified, I mean, in the past experience, like we have seen, uh, we have you know, interviewed candidates who already are having certificates like, a, say, Oracle OCP or OCA, but they don't, they don't even, they lack even in basics. So the, the seriousness of certification is not really there. So people, the candidate has to understand what a certification is not just to acquire a certificate, it's basically to get the breadth of what the subject is. Then along with that, he has to put his uh, uh, practical experience to gain.